Hey guys, Matt Scott here. I'm going to show you how to get tons of caps right out the vault in Fallout 76, and it's easy. All right, here we go. I just started a new game, and I want to make a bunch of caps. One of the easiest ways to do this, I found, is by going to this house that has a ton of of junk in it and I'm gonna show you where it's at you're gonna pull up your map you're gonna scroll over and you're gonna find this little 87 a and you're gonna make a waypoint but first we're gonna make a few pit stops we're gonna go to overseas camp I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of stuff you know I'm gonna craft a board boards really good because you're gonna be killing some ghouls a little bit of armor whatever armor you can and uh I'm just gonna scrap all my crap here. I don't really need this stuff. And we're gonna continue on our way. Before we go there though, we're gonna make a stop at Sutton Station. And you're gonna see why a little bit later. All right, so you reach Sutton Station and uh, you're gonna run up these stairs and you're gonna go up to the station itself. And as far as I know, every single station has a vendor. In this case, it's a, it's a Raider robot vendor. And uh, these little stations are nice because, for, for one, they have a, typically a stash box and some sort of crafting bench inside of them, which is pretty good. Um, sell everything that you have right now because you're going to need that weight. Um, don't worry about your junk. Um, you don't even have to scrap it. I unfortunately scrapped everything when I was at the Overseer's camp. But um, this station is actually really close to the location we're going next. And uh, here's the house that I was going to show you. I'm gonna pull up the map and uh, show you where the waypoint is. It's literally right there. You're outside of another waypoint, but I actually don't go that far. Set your camp up. You're gonna throw down a stash box once I find it here. And then now you're just gonna clip your board, throw all your crap in there, clip your board, and just run in there and start killing all of these ghouls. Now, there's always six ghouls at this house. There's one outside, two on the main floor, one upstairs, and one downstairs. And uh, they always range from like level one to level nine. I haven't had anything stronger than that so far. Um, my low level characters always come here because this is where I get a lot of my caps. In fact, I could replace most methods that I use for cap farming with this. I head outside. I start gathering all the junk on this table. And um, the best part about this house are the books. This house has a ton of books in it. And what's great about these books is they're one on one. When you go to a trader, you sell them and they are literally just one cap per book. And I think in the most I've ever had in one run was 355 books. Along with the books, there's a ton of other scrap here. It's just it's just junk heaven. You'll see in the speed uh, run right here how many books there are and um they're not just on the first level too they're up on the second story also but when you go downstairs you'll find um the pool table has a bunch of plastic um that one it spawns randomly like it doesn't always be there but um it's really nice to, to go down there and collect all those when they're actually there run upstairs there's a ton of books in both of the rooms up here and um yeah, this, this house just has a ton of junk. And uh, I believe in every single run that I do uh, with this house, I usually leave at least with um, 200 pounds um, plus of, of valuable junk. And that's excluding the books, typically. The books itself, are they always max me out. And uh, yeah, you'll see here where I just scrolled over those books. That was, what, almost 300? I believe that was just just under 300 books alone. And with all the other junk, yeah, you're making bank. Um, walk over to your, your stash box, and you're just going to stash all this stuff. And then um, you're going to re-log. And uh, when you re-log, you're going to run back in the house, and you're just going to repeat this process. All right, so this is just after my third login. And um, I've cleaned the house out three times, maxed out all the weight in my stash box, and I still have just barely over the weight limit for my character. So I'm going to go ahead and just book it back to the station because it's not that far. And um, you can get there in just a few minutes, and you can pick up some stuff along the way. There's typically enemies right there on that bridge, but since there was a, a person's camp, they probably took care of it. 
but um you get to station you're gonna pull out all the junk you got and uh, notice how i didn't break any of it down if you break it all down like you either can't sell it or you have to find a tinker um craft station to uh to turn it into bulk items and i just don't do that right at the beginning of the game i literally just go back to that trader and just start selling and uh you can see the caps piling up right here and uh, that's just from three runs in this house which took me less than 25 minutes and uh every time i do that house run it's anywhere between three to five and a half minutes and um as you see here i just got uh, over a thousand caps and uh, what I'm going to do now is to get the rest of those caps I'm going to go back to the house and uh, repeat this process all right youtubers you probably felt this coming because it's an all youtubers videos basically but please um, hit that like button hit that share button maybe even subscribe to my channel um, I'm trying to build this up I like to um, to make weird stuff on my channel but I'm going to uh hopefully just start making some more playthroughs. I have some Fallout 4 uh, settlement builds that I really want to show because they're really funny and they're really unique and I like to get immersed into the, the RPG element. But um, yeah, uh, if you would hit that subscribe button, like and share, that would be awesome. But um, yeah, back to the game. So I just subbed out. I'm going to log back into the game and I'm just going to repeat this another two times. Um, I actually think I did three runs total because I had a one really bad run for some reason. I must have logged in right after someone had gone through this area and they, I don't know, there was like nothing in the house at all. And, uh, which is really rare. Like usually there's always stuff in this house. Like it's typically full, I would say 80% of the time and, um, run back up to, to that Sutton station. And I have more loot than he actually has in caps. So that's actually going to translate to the next day. And, um, Every time I log into this, I probably do this probably about two, uh, three times a day just to, to go for it. But there it is. Level one right off the gate. Um, I got more caps than I actually have. I know what to do with right now because, well, you can use them to buy plans. You can use them to save up. Uh, the, the max level for caps in this game is 30K. So, yeah, you can get that in probably 10, 15 days, honestly. And... um with me, I I think the most caps I have on my character, that's level like 22, which I think is the highest I have. Um, I like to delete my characters quite often. But yeah, I think I have 23,000 caps on that character. I just barely found out that you can have a 30,000 cap limit. But yeah, thank you for watching. And this is Matt Scott signing out. I hope this video was informative and helps you new players and even veterans alike. Hey, take care, guys.